hello everyone and welcome back to my channel again. If you haven't watched the last few videos, you don't know. This is awkward. I'm in the middle of nowhere. There we go. Just went out and said it. Um, vlogs should be coming soon. Daily vlogs from my summer job. But there's like a time delay because mail. Mail is important to get videos out because the internet where I am kind of sucks. Right behind me here, I got a little bit of a mess going on. I was going to clean it up, but you know what? No, because I am packing to go out to the middle of nowhere right now. I have one week until my departure date, and so I'm trying to film and edit videos and get them up so I can have as minimal as a delay as possible. Who knows what will happen? Who knows? Somebody is texting me and my watch is going crazy right now. Anyway, I recently talked about fiction books that I love. I'll um, try to remember to link there. I don't know if I can even do that if it's not published yet. I don't know. Anyways, recently I talked about fiction books and I thought I would also talk about graphic novels because those are also books that I like sometimes. I'm not huge into comics. Most of what I read is indie or like it's not Marvel or DC. It's not the big ones. It's the smaller ones. I have a small selection in front of me here. I don't know what happened to the rest of them. I thought I had more. I don't know. The like only exception to that is Marvel's Runaways. I read the crap out of that. I think I got the first book and then I just bought the other five? I think it's six. I don't have it with me right now and I know I wouldn't have gotten rid of them so I think my friend Jessica is the culprit on that one as well. I think I know I lent it to her at some point so I assume she has it so I don't have it to show you but Marvel's Runaway is one of my favorite graphic novels. I just absorb that like crazy. They also made it into a show recently. Jessica and I watched the first episode but I don't have cable and I never got further than that. Maybe one day. But I mean I guess we'll just start. I've only got four here. I don't know where the rest of them went. I might have gotten rid of them when I moved because there were ones I didn't think I'd read again. I kept the ones that I'm like yeah that's my jam. <laughs> the first one I it's a manga. It's Death Note. It is so good. It's by um, Tsugami Oba, uh, the story, and the art by Takeshi Obata. So, yes, this is really good. It's it's a series of 12, so there's 12 of them in this series. I personally like the first six are really good, and then I feel like it kind of dips down from 7 to 12, or maybe like 8 to 12, but it's great. So this here, this guy here, he's a Shinigami. He is a god of death in um, Japanese culture and they have these books like a death notebook and when they want to kill somebody they just write that person's name down and then that's how they die and one of these death notebooks falls to the earth and it falls into the hands of a real person and then there's somebody going around killing people and then people trying to figure out how this is happening so it's a really interesting story I I've never read any uh, manga before and I haven't read any since but I like I should have bought the box set of this because it probably would have been cheaper because like I bought two books on the first day and then I went back the next day I bought like three more I just I inhaled it so good I should actually read it again because it's been a really long time they've made some movies I haven't watched the movies but yeah I suggest this it's a really good story next I'm gonna go with some of the more like historical ones like when I say I like indie comics more. So this one is called De Gratias and it's the tale of Rwanda and this is like the lead up to the genocide in Rwanda told in comic form. So yeah there it is. The two main characters there's one um, Hutu and one Tutsi and the Tutsi were the ones who were massacred during the genocide but I'm a history freak. I really love history and so this was kind of right up my alley. I don't think I've read it for a long time but it was a good one. History, so good. Speaking of history and historical comics, next we have Mouse and Mouse 2. So again, these are the artist, his name is Art Spiegelman? Art Spiegelman. The, this is the stories that his father told him about his time during the Holocaust. He's a Jewish man who was, I'm pretty sure he was in internment camps. Also the writer on this, on De Gratias, is J.P. Stassen. So, because I didn't mention it. But yeah, no, this is just, I've written historical comics because again, I'm a history freak. I wrote one about World War II 
and it's like nine pages it's not super comprehensive like something like this and I wrote one on the time after World War One till 1953 it was called Stalin Gator versus the Allies yeah I'm a winner <laughs> It really helped my friends though who didn't understand history understand those periods, but I'd all I've always like it would be great to do a World War II comic as well because like why not learn about history through comics? I think it's great, especially if you're a visual person. But how do you deal with the Holocaust in a comic? And I think Mouse does a really good job of doing that. And it's just really well written. I like the art. I'm a big art freak when it comes to graphic novels and I think that's why I don't read a lot. If I don't jive with the art, I don't care if the story's amazing, I'll struggle to get into it. And see, like, it's really neat and like, the mice are the Jewish people and the cats are Germans, which makes a lot of sense. And part of the reason that when I wrote my comics I made animals was one, because I can't read, but two, because I got the idea from Mouse. So, yeah, it's a um, good book if you're interested in that period of time and maybe don't want to read a very dense history book or something. It's 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 a really personal and poignant story. I quite liked it. But Holocaust is a depressing subject. Genocide is a depressing subject. But interesting. I really like them. So we're going to end with the last comic that I have or graphic novel or whatever. Like I said, I don't know what happened to the other ones because I used to have a ton, but I, like I, I think they're just ones that I knew I'd never read again. But this is one that I would definitely read again, and it's Mouse Guard. So this one is a Fall 1152 um, by David Peterson, and there's a bunch of other ones. I, I don't know for sure if he did like Fall. I know he did Fall and Winter. I don't know if he did Spring and Summer, but it's really good. It's super cute. Um, and it's basically like a mouse kingdom and trying to deal with, you know, ferrets and other gnarly creatures and just trying to live their life. I'm going to see if I can find like a cute, a cute creature. There's a snake. But yeah, like these little mouse guards are just attacking the snake and it is so cute and um, just so much fun. And it's such... A little world that you just get transported into. Definitely one of my favorite comics. It's one of the ones that's kind of stuck with me well after I've read it. Like I said, I want to read more. I want to read it again. I just went over and I grabbed, because I have a uh, Mouse Guard Winter 1152. Again, just, you know, trying to do their thing. It's got the tale of this guy named Black Axe. I think that's where it starts in that one. There's also the Legends of the Guards, um, which is a bunch of different art stories. So a bunch of different artists kind of did their own take on the Mouse Guards, which is nice. And then this is how terrible I am when I got this book. I think I was in university and I just wasn't reading anything, but I have Mouse Guard the Black Axe, and it is still in its paper protection. There's a Ferret King looks like on the back. I haven't read that yet. I should probably read that. But yeah, Mouse Guard's really good. But while I was over there, I also found a fun one that I apparently kept. It's called Peter the Pirate Squid by Roman Dirge and illustrated by Stephen Daly. And um, that's it. I don't know why I kept this above all the other ones. Probably because it's just super cute. Let me get the little guy puking there. Yeah, so those are some of the comics I like. Like I said, the only one I can think of that I don't have here with me is Marvel's Runaways. Uh, but I can't think of any more other than that that were like so, that stood out to me so much that I remembered them. But I think my, out of all these, I would say Death Note. If you haven't read Death Note, you should read Death Note. It's really, really good. And Mouse Guard's super cute. Anyways, that's just a few of the graphic novels that I like, and uh, I'm gonna go now because I'm kind of hungry, which is bad because I literally just went out for dinner, but that's fine, and um, I'm gonna try to get my life in order. We got a week to do that. I'm a little bit concerned. It should be fine though, but I'm a little bit concerned. <laughs>